Rami Sultan recorded the last phone call he had with his cousin, who lives in Gaza. Right now, the people of Gaza have no spokespeople. They have no witnesses. It's a situation where you have to choose between what way you're going to die. Rami, who works in high tech in Silicon Valley, says 500 of his family members had to walk almost 20 miles fleeing Israeli airstrikes in northern Gaza, taking refuge in UN-run schools. Rami's cousin tells him they don't have food, they don't have water, they don't have money. My cousin explained to me that it's, it's not safe. It's just somewhat less dangerous. They're trying their best to live. They're trying their best to live. Rami recorded the conversation to have an eyewitness account of what's happening on the ground and to serve as a family archive if they don't survive. My cousin conveyed that they had given up on human rights and the concept of human rights with respect to them being applied to their situation. And what I want the world to know is that we're human. Our lives, my family's lives, are just as valuable as Israeli lives. It is very important for us to remember our humanity, that this is not a political issue and that this is a humanitarian issue. Colette Gunim is a filmmaker who lives in San Francisco. Her first feature-length film, Traces of Home, traces her Palestinian father's journey back to his childhood home in what is now Israel, which he was forced to flee. My father is definitely a refugee. Um, he was removed in 1948 with the catastrophe, the Nakba. Her family is safe, but her concerns remain around the deteriorating conditions on the ground in Gaza. As a filmmaker, she is encouraged by the role of social media. Having people that are not Palestinian get to create their own opinions and be informed of what is happening um, really feels like it is it is shifting the narrative to understand what is actually um, transpiring. Because Israel cut power to the Gaza Strip, cell phones don't work. So Rami doesn't know if his family is still alive, but he remains faithful. In our small strip of land that we live in, we won't give up. We show that we will continue to resist just by living. Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.